God damn it. <laughs> oh. You good, Mike? You all good? What is up, ladies and mushroom tips? How you guys doing on this fine, fine morning, mid-afternoon, whatever the hell you call it? And there's your mattress right there, coming in hot at the beginning of the video. And uh, today we're going to be doing some metal detecting adventures. And um, instead of going out to a newer location, we're going to... Um, what the hell is that thing just sitting there for? <laughs> We're going to be going to hit up a an artifact rich location that I found tons of late 1800s, early 1900s shotgun shell casings, etc. at. And uh, this location always seems to be at the ends of my journeys and stuff and yada yada yada. So today we're going to start here. We're going to comb this field, possible locations of field we haven't hit as well and uh hope for the best hope to at least find a couple more dope old showcases and stuff but um other than that it's a cold ass day it's 60 degrees got a little bit of overcast and um uh, shouldn't be too hot out so it should be a nice enjoyable day of uh, metal chip detecting and our location in question is right here against the mountains where the old railroad went through um i'm shocked i don't find no railroad spikes and stuff through here But it's all green and luscious and beautiful here. And like I said, the amount of old late 1800s shotgun shells and stuff I find here is it really tells me that there was a lot of activity in these areas. You know, you got all these runoff ditches areas right here. I don't know. Stuff could have been here for all I know. And uh, this spot right here, right here, I've metal detected a ton of. And all up and down this, the flat areas here, all this is where I found a lot of those bullet casings. So. Something over a hundred years ago once was here and and this is even prior to the railroad that went through here I'm pretty sure because that railroad that was going through here was like 1930s and 20s so um, And a lot of the age and the bullets I have they're clear as day to read and you can age them to the 1800s so I could tell they're either older bullets may be used at a later date But there definitely was some activity here a hundred years ago plus so this is our area that we're going to be focusing on today. Possibly moving over to that area of the field. I haven't really done too much of that. And also past this, I haven't really done too much of. So we're just going to go ahead and unpack here. And uh, I'll meet you guys on the tip tector. So far, no luck. I got like two or three nails. That's about it. But I uh, came across a weird looking little friend. Not sure if you guys got them where you live. But look at these guys. They always look weird. I think they're stink bugs. Look at this guy. If he feels threatened, he's probably gonna rear his ass up at me and fucking spray my ass. Those odd ass creatures. Fucking crazy looking, dude. <laughs> Things are fucking eerie. All right, but I'm gonna be sweeping, continuing to sweep up here and uh, hope to find some shit. Got a fat pinger right here, like a 12, 13, usually around a shell casing from my experience. And got our first old case. Check this bad boy out. A rim fire with an H on it. Not even sure what that one could be. But look at look at the condition of that bad boy. This thing's nice. Thing was in there about that deep too. That baby's old. Look at that. See, that's the one positive thing. So I've been using my Hero 8 for GoPros now, which used used to be my metal detecting camera. So now I'm having to use my iPhone. So it's gonna be harder for me to do live digs, but. The positive you get a beautiful up close shot of <laughs> of uh, the target though and can get a good sense of what it looks like eh first target baby we're on the board and not too far from our last target which is up there right here got a pinging banging off the fucking metal detector 15 to 14 and we found us another old ass bullet look at first of all look at this thing from the side with the line on it WRA Company 38 Smith and Wesson. <laughs> Smith and Wesson. It looks like we got a Smith and Wesson. Yeah, Smith and Wesson there. Mm, WRA Co. Smith and Wesson. Never seen that one. I'm sure, you guys will all know that are your uh, bullet aficionados. But what I tell you, there's literally so much history here, but I I've never been able to personally pinpoint any history that took place in this exact location, at least on the internet. I'm sure there's somebody out there that knows some history but there is way too many old ass bullets fired here for there not to have been like some shit going on here or this being an old location of some sort 
It's just, with all these bullets, I haven't found one coin, not one coin yet, but I'm finding all these dope-ass rounds that are old as shit, but I can't find no coins. Come on, man. I need to break my coin cherry in this field, though. I really do. We just dug our last bullet right there. Another ping and signal right here. I dug my plug. Check that out. See what it, let me clean it off. A different round this time. Focus, bitch. Western, say Western 38 Smith & Wesson. Yeah, it says Western 38 Smith & Wesson. Western, I wonder how old these rounds are. Well, this one don't have a ring. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, these rings around it. There's gotta be some old bullets, they have to be. But man, what did I tell you? Three bullets now, three bullets. Wait, four, three, four? Three, I think, yeah. But this fucking, this field is rich in bullets. I'm gonna have like a, I'm literally just gonna have pounds of fucking shell casings at this point, <laughs> but I love them, man. I like these just as much as coins, man. I'm not making this up. 38 special, I just filled my plug there. Swung right below it, really deep in there. You can see how far that is. Look at this bad boy. UMC Company Nitro Club with the flower mark number 12. I've actually aged this one before. I think this is early 1900s, late 1800s for sure, for sure. Look at this. What a fucking beauty, dude. Look at this thing. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I knew this was gonna be good to come through here again. Like with my fresh energy though, you know what I mean? Dude, we are finding literally so many dope ass old shells here. See, this is like some literal Wild West history because this used to be literally your stereotypical Wild West town, San Bernardino back in the 1800s. So this is like actual Wild West history right here that we're digging up. Who knows what this was being shot at, you know what I mean? All right, found a few more nails. Haven't been getting too many luck signals lately. And then our finds have taken a turn right here. Pretty deep in there, I find a part of a skeleton key. Look at this. Look at this. There's like ridges right there, but they're kind of covered in dirt. And I keep searching the hole and trying to find the other half, but I'm not finding anything. But dude, how old do you think this thing is? There's no way this ain't fucking 1800s or prior. I mean, I'm sure it's like 1800s, but look at this. That is so fucking awesome. It must have broke. Maybe it was on like a chain of something to be carried and that broke off and then this fell down on the ground. But how cool is that shit, dude? A skeleton key. Now I'm out here digging in the wilderness. Beautiful mountains. Peace and quiet. Serenity. Nobody around. And even out here in San Bernardino, I'm finding nothing but hoes. Finding me a couple hoes out here. Well, actually, just one hoe. But that looks like an old hoe, doesn't it? It's got a fat ping on that. I was like, ooh. I'm, man, I want to dig a fucking, like, an old Wild West revolver or something. That'd be so fucking cool. But, uh, yeah, we're still trucking. Haven't found any more bullets, obviously. I would have pulled you guys out for that. But, uh, um, nonetheless, I'm just digging up a couple nails here and there. Not even old square ones either. Kind of, like, more probably 30s, 40s nails, if not. But, uh. We're going to be pulling quite some hours of metal detecting today in hopes to find something cool. You won't believe it, boys. We just found a coin spill. But it's modern. <laughs> All these came out of the ground and I almost shit my pants. But they're ranging, but they're ranging from like 1989 to 2000, so... But for, they were like really deep in there for some odd reason. Probably from the rain and the loose soil, but man, I almost thought we found some old coins. Now this little goalie right here, that, that's in between this, I've never really got back here and uh, metal detected, so we're definitely gonna trial that. And there's a bunch of gnats flying around sticking to my face, and it makes me wanna just run in a circle with a flamethrower real quick. But, catch you guys on the next target. All right, so recently in the motor vlog, I was riding through this trail and I was mentioning to you guys that I saw these old metal things right here. And as I told you, this used to be a railroad back in the day, right? That used to take the train all the way up to the mountains for water. Look what I just found. 
legit probably a spike from that railroad. Look at that bad boy. And I'm in this little, remember I told you, I was like, I haven't hit this little flat spot. And then this is my very first thing I dig out of the ground right here. How cool is that? Definitely some old shit right there, baby. Been getting some good finds today. Some good finds. Ooh, not a bad little haul today. But we're not done just yet. I got one more spot. It's kind of close to by where, uh, kind of close to where um, those bullets were found. Where I found that new section of rock wall. Kind of to that same area. This kind of, this spot was actually a bust. I didn't really find anything good. Oh shit, I forgot those bees are here too, damn it. Fucking cover myself up fat. Let me put this down. Cover my neck. Oh yeah, right there, look. See that house foundation right there? I remember trying that spot out at one point, but you, would, you wouldn't even believe it, but I didn't find shit there. It was just bunk as hell. What is that old radio doing there? Oh shit, there's a guy there with cars. Nice jacket, all looking at me like he was up to no good and he's like the fuck you looking at bitch wow just literally that fast all those bees are gone what the fuck there's jeeps right here oh shit look they put a rope fence that's new too but that's all open right there and I could still fucking get in. <laughs> oh shit, I can't go through right here. Fuck. Man, I want to go back to where uh, me and Hombre went where the that hot spring spot was because I didn't get a full metal detecting like experience there. Not only was it hot, but we were both kind of like just exploring the area and shit but i did find that one old knife and that's what really makes me excited i do i seriously think that knife i found is really really old the, just the age on it and where i found it <laughs> fucking washer still there oh look you can see the hot spring steaming tough right now too oh shit there's somebody down there there's like two or three people down there Looks like they're sunbathing on those cement down there. <laughs> so as I was doing my research on my last video, there's this curve right here that's like really sharp. It's like a decreasing radius turn. And there's a driveway to a house you can't really see. Well, I found that house on Zillow and it's a house that was built in the 1930s. And I don't know if it's actually lived in or not, but it goes to show like how old even some of these more modern houses are on this road. You know what I mean? And here's where I found those bullets, and here's that new section of rock wall that I found. See this rock wall right here? Something had to have been here. Why would this be here still? And look, there's an edge right there, and it's just all grass and overgrown. There's a little tunnel right there, like a drainage tunnel. I wonder what this once was, and how big it was, and what kind of structure it was. And even more importantly, is there some treasures and relics here because look at this how old do you think this wall has to be this has to be from way back in the day this road's cool uh-oh boot it's a kid's boot too uh-oh that's sad Let's see what's over here hmm looking down here i think there was be would be much down here doesn't even look like anything was even once here Isn't that crazy though? I didn't know the information at the time, but that that area that we explored up there, that 14 people died there on Christmas Day in 2003 during that mudslide. So that creepy ass area I was exploring, like the, <laughs> that shit was legit creepy. And even like the tragedy that took place there, it's kind of sad. But you know what? I think we're gonna give this spot one more try. But before we do that, I'm gonna do one more little quick 
pan and scan up and down the road just to make sure I always seem to find new things like however whatever the fuck that was oh that skunk is still dead there oh I smell it <coughs> oh man that was gross hey Civic it's like my favorite type of Civic right there that old red hatch and this right here doesn't this look like it was like a driveway to something Oh, I got my metal detector on me, so I need to go out of my way and, like, really take a look at these areas. Because that's how you find shit. You have to really do your research and look for things. Let's see here. Oh, old brick. Old brick. That's a good sign. Oh, yeah. Any foundation? It is really flat right there. There are so many secrets in these hills, dude. So many hidden, overgrown areas that were probably want something. This looks like it once was like something too. Got a little underhang here. Probably get my bike back there, to be honest. Yeah. See, look at this. You think this was once like a building? Oh shit, this just. little too wild here for me. Like it's a little fucking deep. Like my tires are like digging in. Oh. This is why this is what dual sports are for. Alright, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try those places in another video, but, uh, I want to continue back where this rock wall was that I found. And, uh, we're gonna do the, expel the last of our energy here. Yeah, right here, baby. Alright, time to get all my equipment, and I'll meet you guys on the first target. Millipede? I've never seen one of those in my life. Like, in person. Look at that shit. Oh, that's fucking eerie looking. I'm getting a heavy 16 here, which is a really good bullet signal. And there is a fucking metric cock ton of trash in here, but I'm right by the bullets. I'm getting a really heavy 16 and I'm dig I'm desperately trying to find it and found that guy in the process, but I'll let you guys know what it is. And I said, I'll meet you at the first target and there was no targets. That's why I think I stopped metal detecting this. But the fact that I found those bullets when every every sweep is beep 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 beep, beep and they're all like nails and shit for the most part. It's it's really hard. That's why I like like the hills back there. That's why I like spots like that because obviously no one's gonna be chilling in like the middle of nowhere hills and at least your targets are all gonna be old shit. Or at least, you know, not all trash. Man, I wish I could get me some like permissions for some old homes and shit. That'd be awesome. Like some front yards. Be finding like literal galores of coins, I bet. What's up, bud? You get the fuck up that I still like I, I still feel like I want to metal detect some more. What the fuck? Is there a camera right there? <laughs> Wonder if there'd be anything in like these kinds of fields. Kind of all just looks like level ground, really. Whoa! I saw an open field. Got some townhouses right here. Let's take the bike up here and see if we can't find nothing. Old tilled soil. Okay. A foundation up there. Look, there's an old foundation up there. Okay. Okay. I wonder if there's anything here. Whoa, what the fuck's that? What's this random little thing right here, though? What? What? What 
the hell is this? There's nothing even in there. The fuck? There's an old foundation up there. Wow. Dude, we sh I should metal detect this. Yeah, I'm gonna swing the detector in here for a little bit and see if we can't find anything. Uh, I've gotten about three targets. Good news is not a lot of trash. Bad news is nothing but nails, 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 dude. Even up here. But that uh, that little foundation over there is calling my name over there. I think it looks nice, dude. It looks like it was definitely something old. And I'm just gonna do some more scanning right here. And then from there, we're just going to see what happens. Uh, no targets, unfortunately. Just nails, nails, nails. But you never know unless you check, right? I'm gonna, now I'm gonna see how the fuck you get over there. I tried looking right here, but it dips way down. I don't think I'd be able to safely do it. So we're gonna try to figure out how the hell you get up to that foundation, because that looks so dope. And this is the kind of shit that's why I would, I'm probably never gonna care to buy street bikes anymore, because the shit's why I love dual sports. <laughs> it's just fun as hell. have to hit this section next time yeah I haven't been here in forever I remember this spot actually there's like a dirt trail and it leads up to those houses oh this is the there it is Look, there's where I was. I made it. There is that foundation. There must have been an old house here. Oh, man. This is dope. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, 100%. That must have been the garage right there, and this must have been the house. Oh, shit, is that... Was that a swimming pool? What's this? Dude, it's got an old swimming pool. That's so sick. Dude, I wonder how nice this house was. It's probably a really nice house back in the day. I'd love to see what this place looked like. I wonder if I can find a picture on the internet. I don't know what this thing is. It says Cascade. Maybe an old heater or something? Dude, imagine this being your house and like... Like, you get all this as a view. It must be the next street where it leads up into these hills, up in the back hills over there. Yeah, so you could tell this is where, like, the garage and shit was. You got all the old plumbing lines coming out of the mountain right there, all fucked up. Oh, yeah, look, there's, like, some flat cement. Some bushes. Oh, yeah, this had to have been the backyard. God damn it. <laughs> oh. You good, bike? You all good? Yeah, I think we'll put this one on the list too for a later time. It's starting to get late. But this is a dope spot. I don't feel like this house was really old though. I feel like this house was probably like maybe 1950s, maybe 40s at the latest. But I could be wrong. Oh, well, let's say we had a pretty fun day. Got us some pretty vintage uh, shotgun shells. Found us a little ro railroad spike from the old railroad. You know, not no coins, unfortunately, besides, you know, the modern pennies, which I ain't gonna count. If it ain't at least a wheat, it can lick my seat. Well, guys, I'm about to get home and uh, chug me some fucking water. As always, hope you guys enjoyed the video. All links will be down below if you want to support me in any way, shape, or form. Go to my shirts, keychains, stickers, etc. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the... Fuck! Out of that like button. You guys have a real good day. I'll see you guys later.